Leadership is a big topic. Uh, everybody's interested in leadership, whether they're a leader or a follower. And biblically, if you want to be a good leader, you have to be a good follower. Follow Jesus and be able to follow others as you, as you imitate them as they imitate Christ. And we're in beloved steadfast, beloved and steadfast, uh, some lessons for the church and for leadership and for life as we kind of recap First and Second Thessalonians and bring it all together with some big ideas that are emerging uh, in these letters. And so last time we were looking at uh, lessons for the church. Uh, this time, coming up this Sunday, October 2nd, 2022, leadership lessons. Leadership lessons from First and Second Thessalonians. And we're going to be anchored in, in both letters, but primarily in First Thessalonians chapter 2, verses 1 through 12. So you want to read that in prep, be praying for the preaching, and I'll just give you a little, a little hint of where we're going, a little preview. We're going to look at the leader's calling, at the leader's character, at the leader's communication, and the leader's conduct. That's primarily where we're going to go, and there's so much here uh, that we had to kind of put them in categories, okay? Everything won't be alliterated, just those four things. Everything else is just what comes straight from the text. And looking forward to it, uh, let me just read you one verse. This is what Paul said to the Thessalonians, 1 Thessalonians 2, verse 1. For you yourselves know, brothers, that our coming to you was not in vain. But though we had already suffered and been shamefully treated at Philippi, as you know, we had boldness in our God to declare to you the gospel of God in the midst of much conflict. Praise God for his sovereignty, for his providential orchestration of all things, that he would give his people the wherewithal, the, the even the, the impetus to to keep preaching the gospel and be bold about it, humbly bold, as, uh, as the needs are many. And we see so many things in life, uh, but the need is, is a spiritual need, a life and death need. Everyone needs Jesus. And how do leaders fit into that picture?